In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can create visuals similar to the ones Weird Call makes for Aphex Twins live shows using Ableton Live. This is just a short introduction. If you want to jump straight to the start of the tutorial, just skip ahead to the next chapter. So I'm going to be using some software called Zwobot, which is a suite of Max for Live devices that you can use to create visuals for your music inside of Ableton. In this video, I'm not going to be going into how to use Zwobot and what all the modules do and how they work, but I do have a series of tutorials that goes into all that. So if you want to watch tutorials on how Zwobot works, what all the different devices and modules do, how the sound reactivity works, how the BPM syncing works and all that, you can watch that playlist. I'll put a link to it in the top right corner of the screen now. So the purpose of this video and this video series isn't to exactly replicate what Weird Core and Aphex Twin have already done. It's simply to provide you with some inspiration and places to start if you want to create your own visuals that have a similar aesthetic. In this video, I am going to be looking at this zoom effect that you can see here. So this is a clip taken from Aphex Twin's show in Manchester, the Warehouse Project in 2017. There's a link in the description if you want to go and watch that full show. This is just a little snippet from it. I'm going to be focusing on this zoom effect. I'm not going to worry about the colored lines squiggling around in the middle. I'm just going to look at this kind of stretchy zoom type effect. Okay, let's stop that. Let's switch my fader over. And let's start playing some audio here. Just going to turn it down a bit and... Let's get that on. So this is a track by an artist called Valley Lines. This is released on Machine Records. If you like IDM, which I'm assuming you do if you're a fan of Aphex Twin, go and check out the Machine Records Bandcamp page. There's a link to it in the description. Loads of amazing experimental brain dance IDM type music. I'll put a link to this particular EP that this track is taken from in there as well. Again, the artist is Valley Lines. This track is called I zero. Okay, so let's start by turning on my webcam because in the video here, Aphex Twin has the camera on the audience. So if we wanted to recreate that, we'd have to have a webcam. So here we go. I've used this AUX module, which allows you to use a webcam stream. I've selected cam, my webcam, and I've just made sure that this is switched on. And by default, the transparency setting here is going to be turned right up, so you just need to bring that down. Okay, and on top of that, I'm going to use this stretch effect. So this is something I've used in both of the previous tutorials. So I'm not going to talk about it too much again. It basically stretches the edge of the screen. I've got the stretch dial responding to the lower frequencies. So when there's lower frequencies coming through, like bass or a kick drum, it's going to increase the amount of the screen that is stretched and I've got the stretch mode changing in accordance with my master beat control over here so it's set to one note and that will be in accordance with my overall project BPM and I've got it set to the lines mode Okay, and then on top of the stretch, I've got this zoom module. So this is the main thing that's doing all the work. I'm going to set the speeds to respond to the lower frequencies. So that's controlling the speed of this zoom. So as the lower frequencies come in, it's going to get faster. And then I'm going to do the same with the scale. And that controls the scale of this zoom. I've got it set to circle mode, so you can either have it rectangle or circle. So I think what Weirdcore probably did was create a max patch that did something similar to this, but instead of having just a rectangle or circle, he's probably used the Aphex Twin logo, so you would get this shape instead of just being a circle would be the Aphex Twin logo. So obviously you can't do that with Zwobot, but this is kind of a similar effect. And I've got the modes alternating between in and out in accordance with the master beat control again. You can mess about with a few things here, so you can mess about with the blend modes if you still want a clean image underneath it.
And again, if you want to change the scale settings, you can mess about with that. So if you wanted more control over it, you could do some manual automation on this, or you could just manually control it, map it to a controller. I quite like it being audio reactive though. And you can also change the position of the zoom on this pad here, so you can have that response to the audio as well. And if you just want to reset it to the center, you can just click this R button. And again, you can manually control that too. You can also add this Earl module in if you want. So what I've done with that is set it to texture mode. If it's not on texture mode, you're just going to get colors. But if I put this on, I'm going to see my webcam feed. And I'll just turn the zoom off for a second. So this is putting my webcam feed into a sphere, in this case. There's these different shapes you can have. So circle, sphere, capsule, cylinder. And I've got the size responding to the lower frequencies. I can move it around. Where do I want it? I kind of just want my face in the middle. There we go. And then I can also use this amp setting. So this also kind of recreates the effect that we were looking at in the previous video a bit as well, but just a slightly different way of doing it. Maybe I don't want the size to be getting so big there. And there's different modes of amplitude you can get here so if I turn this off it's a bit more frantic but then if I want it to be a bit more smooth I can turn it on and that smooths, smooths the movement out a bit and then I can add the zoom effect on top of it change the shape as well to get different kinds of effects. You can add this mesh effect as well, or points or line. Yeah, you can experiment with all these different settings, but that is pretty much it.